citizens of Burbank. Thank you. Thank you. Well, come, come, come. Thank you, you, you. People of Burbank, back, back. Your cars, 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 and women, women belong to me. Welcome to the episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Kind of an unusual car today, kind of a huge car today. This is a 1952 Chrysler Imperial Dual Cal Phaeton Parade Car. Very rare car. This was uh, built for and used by the city of Los Angeles, still owned to this day by the city of Los Angeles, which I think is kind of cool. And it's still in use. Now, I said it was a 52. Now, if you're a sharp-eyed Chrysler guy, you go, London doesn't know what he's talking about. It looks like a 56. Well, it was updated periodically. I'm going to give you the whole history of the car. It's got a fascinating story. Let's meet Art and Mark. They're the automotive dispatchers. Come on in, guys. How you doing? How you doing? Art, Mark, how are you? All right, how you doing? So you guys are the automotive dispatchers for the city of Los Angeles. You are more or less the caretakers of this car? Yes, we are. Okay, very cool. So tell us the story. It's a 1952. Was it bought originally by the city of Los Angeles? No, it was bought by the federal government for a, it was a parade car for the President of the United States. It was one of three in three major cities, New York, Detroit, and Los Angeles. Oh, okay. And this is a Los Angeles car. And did any presidents actually ride in this particular one? President yeah. Eisenhower has ridden in the car, and President, Vice President Nixon, okay. when he was Grand Marshal of the Rose Parade, rode in the car. Oh, very cool. All right. And as you can see, uh, not much protection <laughs> back in the day. No. I think people are a lot more, I don't know. But as you can see, there's no bulletproof bubble. There's no nothing. You just rode back here and waved and hoped that there weren't any crazy people. We still hope that today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But this is still used for dignitaries and things, isn't it? Yes, sir. The wheelbase is obviously much longer. It's a stretched car. Any idea what these cost to build back in the day? There was three made at $100,000, so okay. about 33000 each. Okay, 33000 each. Okay. Now, I, you mentioned it's a 52. I looked at it, and right away I said, it looks like a 56, because I know these are 56. And what, the city would send it back to get it upgraded, or Chrysler? How'd that work? Well, actually, Chrysler called all three cars in, and they did all their upgrades in 1955 for the 56 model year. So this was like the grand styling for the 56 model year. This was the show car. Okay. Right. Well, it looks like, yeah, because this whole rear section looks more modern. It's not a torque flight transmission. Is, what's this, a two-speed? Two-speed, now it's a power flight. A power flight, okay. Because that went to 55, I think, then at 56. I think you're correct. They went to the three-speed torque flight. And the engine is what? Is, is it the 331 Hemi or? I believe it's a 331 Hemi. Okay, cool. And that's all stock. It's amazing that the city of Los Angeles didn't think to, you know, how they just auction stuff off or get rid of it. I mean, it's so huge. <laughs> there aren't many garages that could hold this car. Well, I think the reason it stayed around the city is because the elected officials get the use of it. Oh, is that right? So, yeah. 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 Because it's an enormous car. It doesn't have any, look, any exterior door handles of any kind. It, it doesn't have even a, a top you can snap on or take off. It's always been just an open parade car. It's, are those big speakers on the? Those are a PA system, can we front turn and that back. On? Sure, you want me to pull, turn it on for you? Oh yeah, here's a microphone here. Give it a go. There we are, there we are. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. See, I can get used to this. <laughs> Sir, please, get in the slow lane. Hey, get out of the way. Hey, moron! Oh, I would love it. Hey! <laughs> get out of the way. Well, this would be fantastic. Why can't every car have this so we can talk car to car? That's kind of cool. And, okay, so they got windshield here, clock back there. So, so, oh, so, oh there suicide you go. doors. Look at that. Okay, yeah. And you had your fold-away jump seats here yes, as well. Sir. The interior look, has it been updated in the interior as well, been restored somewhat? We had it reupholstered about seven to eight years ago. Let's open the hood and take a look at the classic Hemi. Right. Wow, look at the size of that generator. It's enormous. I think that's much larger than stock. And uh, the big 331, look. Looks like a little more modern carburetor on there. Yeah, we had to change the intake manifold in the carburetor because we were experiencing some vapor lock on the old system. Oh, right. Well, you got this modern gas with <laughs> ethanol. 
And then we went with the backup battery for the PA system. Oh, I see. And you got the old-fashioned type canister oil filter, and you got a monitored ignition system in it as well. Very nicely yes. done. Yes, the generator also functions as a pump for the power steering. Oh, I see. Yeah, at the end, it, yeah, that's yeah. interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I hadn't seen that before. Did they have that in 52? Yes. Okay, that's 95. Okay. See, I wasn't familiar with that. Most of my experience with these Chrysler's is 56 on. Very nice. Let's shut this again. And of course, there are the famous speakers we talked about. And is this the official flag of Los Angeles? Yes, it is. I didn't know we had a flag in Los Angeles. I'm sorry. Okay. Kelsey Hayes wheels, I believe those are. Now, those are 1956 hubcaps, mm -hmm. or wheel covers, rather. Is it really cramped in here? Try sitting in it. Huh? Watch your knees when you get in. Let's see here. As big as this car is, you think they give the right driver a little bit no, more No, they never do that. <laughs> I mean, it feels like you're in a tiny car when you look at yes. it from here forward. And you got everything you need, speedometer, no radio, no nothing like that. Oh, you put seat belts in it. You added a tack. Uh, horn sounds a little wimpy. It is a little wimpy for yeah, this size car. Cars. After a half hour, hour in a parade, two miles an hour, yeah. this gets incredibly hot inside here. Yeah, I can imagine. Everything looks to be pretty much standard Chrysler. Let's, let's move around the back of it. It's hard. How long is it? Do you know the exact dimensions, you guys? I believe we measured it for the trailer. We were trailering it, and I think it came in about 21 and a half feet. Wow. Okay. It's 6,002 pounds. No missing the Imperial right there. Raised letters. Yeah, the giant raised letters. Now, what, is this the trunk here? No. That's where the spare tire. Oh, the spare tire's under there. Okay. How do you open the trunk? Nope. You pull that. Flip the seat back up and... Oh, it opens this way? Yes, it does. Oh. Wow, okay. There's a big wooden box. I like it. There's no roof, but you get, you get a lot of umbrellas. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of umbrellas. No roof, a lot of umbrellas. That's hilarious. What's in the wooden box, gentlemen? Take a look. It's where we hold our flags at. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, all the flags go in here, of course. Okay. Well, this really was custom built, wasn't it? There's really not much, although it looks Chrysler. I know the fenders are 56, but I mean, the way this trunk opens, this is all custom built stuff. And then you pull that and what that door opens or it drops yeah, down? Yeah, it has a wrench. Okay. And you take off the bolts, the four bolts from it, and then, and then it pops open. Also, the gas, you're looking at the gas? Yeah. One's aesthetic. That one's the real one you fill over there. This one's just a cement tree. Okay, because in, 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 in my 56, you, you yeah. open the tail light. You open the tail light, yeah. Huh? You don't see those anymore, do you? No ashtrays, <laughs> big giant ashtrays. Look at this, because people just, look at it. If you filled up this, you, you already, you've already got cancer if you filled up this ashtray. <laughs> and, then, and there's another one. Yeah. There's a, just smoking, jeez. <laughs> it's kind of a cool looking thing. Not the most practical car to have. Uh, this one's in a parade almost monthly. Really? Oh, yes. Who was the last dignitary to ride it? Art know? just drove Councilman Bloomfield two weeks ago in the Memorial Day parade. Yes. Councilman Bloomfield? Oh, my God! I don't know who that is. Okay, well, this weekend is Councilman <laughs> O'Farrell. Councilman O'Farrell? <laughs> How about this guy? How about the mayor in two weeks at the Pride Parade? Oh, the buses. So Mayor Garcetti will be using this Correct. Car. I didn't realize they still use this. I just thought it was, you know, an artifact. I didn't realize it was still... A working car, because well, with dignitaries now, you'd think, I don't know, you got to have bulletproof glass and all that kind of nonsense. But Well, when the mayor's in the parade, he has a chase car. Oh, okay. And he has security on either side. Okay. I notice there's no place for security to stand or anything. No, no they, they, walk. Walk. they walk. They walk alongside. Can we take it out for a drive? We'd sure. love to have you drive it. Sure, I'd love to drive it. There you go. Let's give it a shot. We'll even let you use a microphone up there. Gosh, I'll feel like a councilman. <laughs> There they are. There, there we go. Are. You got them. There you now go. The flags have kicked in. <laughs> does it feel like a boat? I know it does. <laughs> Actually, it drives like a typical 55, 56 Chrysler. Yes, it does. Those flags are moving. Yeah, they don't get a workout like this much at five miles an hour. No, I'm gonna say. <laughs> No, hang on. We've had it on them. So who's got the most smiles on it, Art or Mark? I think we each get smiles on it. Yeah. It's, a, it, it's definitely an attraction car. Yeah, yeah. Who has the most miles on it? I think Art does. Yeah. 
Art's been with the department a little longer than me. Well, it's good to see it's being used. It's better than letting it sit. I think it gets used more than any other one. Now it's, and we drive it to location. Sometimes we drive it out to Granada Hills. Right. Um, I've driven it out to the uh, Pacific Palisades for a 4th of July parade. Uh, we drive it, we try to trailer it sometimes, but you know, find somewhere to park it overnight. So yeah, it's a chore. We have to go. a big trailer. Yeah, yeah. I drove the Pacific Palisades parade and I had to wait for a while. And I, so I went to the store and got a soda. I come back, there's four drunk ladies in the back. Hey, jump in and take a picture with us. They got their legs sticking up. I, no, I don't want to be on Facebook. Yeah, you can't park this thing anywhere. You make your own parade with this thing. <laughs> I thought the two-speed tra transmission would be like a, you know, the GM power glide goes right. Uh, uh, it's a smooth. It, yeah, it's very smooth. Very smooth. It's very turbine-like. I think that's the principle behind putting it in there because the way people are sitting in the back. Yeah. They came up one time with a soaker. I was driving Via yeah. Ragosa, and they were gonna silly, you know, soak them with a uh, squirt yeah. gun. Yeah, yeah. But I carry an umbrella up here. I put it up just in that's time. That's funny. Just feel like waving when you're in this thing. Councilman Reyes for uh, when I would drive in a, in a yeah. parade. Every time after the parade, he wanted to go drive through a jack in the box. Every time. That's funny. Everybody loves a parade, huh? I drove it back from the Martin Luther King Day parade three years ago in a torrential downpour. You should have seen the looks I was getting. I would got back, I was a soaked rat, but people were looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> You think there'd be some sort of cover? There's a, you think. Councilman Labonge loves, you know Councilman Labonge? Yeah, I yeah. think everybody knows Mr. Yeah. L.A., right? Yeah. When he drives this thing, he's got to do Sunset Boulevard. He gets on the mic and this, this is what, this is that, this is, you know, he just has a great time. One time he had me go down to Highway 1 to take the coastal route back from the parade. A little out of the way, but, you know, he, yeah, yeah. he's a man, he's a boss. How much does this thing weigh? 6,002 pounds. Wow, so there's three tons. Three tons. So what kind of mileage you get? Oh, about six, seven miles a gallon six, on, a seven. Good, wow. on a good day. Yeah, but you don't feel the weight. I don't think, no. you, in my opinion, you don't really feel all that weight. It's called that road-hugging weight. Well, there you go. You don't, you don't have to worry about sliding around this thing, huh? That's right. <laughs> in a tornado, everybody else is blown away. We'll be still yeah, right there. Still right hey, this there. could be a storm chaser car. What's up? Yeah, storm chaser. <laughs> but as much fun as this car is to drive, there's still something missing. People of Burbank. <laughs> Hi, we're the welcoming committee. Welcome to Burbank. Hi, girls. Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. She's a good trip. <laughs> How are you? I like your dog. <laughs> Someone will soon approach you for gas money. Please give generously. <laughs> Hello. I command that light to turn green. Hi, guys. Gentlemen, watch Jay Leno's Garage on YouTube. How you doing? Hi, kids. Cool. Thank you. You like this car? Thanks. How you doing? Hi, guys. Hello. I can get used to this. <laughs> Man with the hat. How are you, sir? Man with the hat. Another man with a hat. Hi, man with a hat. Ah, excellent. Very nice car, sir. Oh, and a flathead, a proper flathead. Very nice, sir. People think it's Cheech and Chong driving. <laughs> Make a lot of friends in this car. <laughs> I don't think it's the car, Jay. It's like driving a small country. <laughs> How you doing? Throw that PT Cruise in the back here. We'll give you a ride. People of Earth, I have come from the Imperial Land of Chrysler. Thank you. Thank you. So what's your youth? 
I'm what? Cheech. He's Chong. <laughs> okay, I'll be Chong. We've been called a lot of things, but we haven't been called that yet. And there's no ventilation you can open, is there? Yeah, not much, no. But we got plenty of ashtrays. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I love this thing. Look at the leg room. I want to thank our automotive dispatchers, Arn and Mark. Thank you guys in the city of Los Angeles and Mayor Garcetti for letting us uh, borrow this car and take it for a ride. I'm actually impressed how nice it drives. I thought this was something you guys would just had sitting in the basement, kind of rotten away, but I'm surprised you use it, like you said, what, 12 or 14 times a year? Yes, huh? sir. Very cool. Well, there you go. Little piece of automotive history right out of Los Angeles. So we'll see you guys next week. Now let's go see some more of the peasants. <laughs> <laughs>